Hello. Hi, how are you? Hello, good? how's it going? Good, right. good, thank you. Sorry, there's some kind of like, there's the Rams parade. I'm in Los Angeles and they just oh. won the Super Bowl. So oh, yeah. I apologize if there's all these screaming and honking and going out outside my window. <laughs> oh no, I was, I was watching the game too. I, I was hoping it would be the Vikings and the Raiders playing. I thought it would be more appropriate <laughs> for the show. What a Hollywood ending. I mean, yeah. that was insane. Anyway, we're not here to talk about the Rams. We're here to talk about something else. <laughs> what about your Hollywood ending or the ending of the show? But let's say, if, um, Frida, I want to start off because what role could be more perfect when you have a brother named Leif and a father named Eric and, you know, Frida, your nickname yeah. growing up. And I mean, more than that, you have, you know, um, the equestrian, ba equestrian background and it's just, such warrior test in particular episodes i mean that i was yeah. screaming everything about it it's such a female forward show what's it like playing well it was incredible like you said i mean i'm swedish um my brother is eric leif my dad is leif and my nickname growing up was fredis and it's I just felt like when I first heard that there was going to be a, a sequel or a spinoff to the, you know, the show Vikings, I was just harassing my agents going like, is there a great part? Is there like any woman part? Like, what is it going to be a female, you know, badass warrior? When I got to read it, I was like, okay, God, I, this is, this is going to be me. <laughs> if anyone else gets it, I'm going to kill them. I'm going to like stalk <laughs> them and I'm going to kill them straight style. Um, and it was just such a gift. I feel like somewhere inside me, apparently there was a raging, you know, Viking woman that just needed to come out. And it's been nothing but a tremendous joy working on this project. Throughout the show, I'm thinking about how much I wanted to cheer for the pagans, you know? Yeah. Your side seems like the really uh, correct side. And yeah. I mean, you have, you know, <laughs> Swedes, you. like actual Vikings. So what's it yeah. like for you? What's it like to play it? And what's it like, to live in this world it's wonderful to play and live in this world and it's wonderful to portray a character that is so strong in her beliefs mm -hmm. and it's all about the cause and it's all about the future and it's all about sort of doing leading through sort of tolerance and power and empowering people so that was wonderful to play a woman actually that is not about the family or the husband or whatever, but it's like a bigger and a greater cause. And to be able to see that in other people, the way she sees Freydis' character and the way she rules Kattegat, you know, it's, uh, it was wonderful and, and it was uh, empowering also to be able to, because I mean, her role could have been played by a man, I guess, but it's a woman and it's rare that you get that kind of, an output as a female where you don't have to relate to like family or children or whatever it's all about sort of a, a bigger cause. Frida we see you at the start involved with Leo's character with Harold and we don't realize until sort of later on in the show that there's a lot of complications going on between the two of you but we really we like those characters together but you yeah. know, then you go on your, you, you separate, you separate from your brother, you go on your own journey. How do you feel in terms of loyalty on this show? You know, I'm certainly rooting for you in particular, but, you know, do you have divided loyalties? Do you feel like your character has divided loyalties? I think what Freitas um, first meets Harold, um, I think he likes her a little bit more than she likes him. It's a, it's a physical connection at first. You know, she's been on the boat for five weeks. She's a woman who's got sexual needs. It's a handsome Viking just showing up. But she's like, great, he's also got a bathtub. Oh my God, are you kidding? What a catch. Um, but something happens that I don't think she was really emotionally prepared for. And she, sh she shares very intimate things with him. I think for her, sharing her story and sharing the scar is a way more int intimate, you know, thing to do than to you know sleep with someone so it kicks off this side of her that she's really tried to push down I think meeting Harold and also meeting Jarl Hokan really opens up a softer side to her that she's been reluctant to open because if you only care you know about your revenge and you close yourself off completely you have your tunnel vision on not that much can hurt you but when you love people and the people you love are getting hurt or in danger, 
you know, all of a sudden the stakes are so much higher. I cannot wait to see where the show goes. It's so incredible where you both go. And I just wanted to say, I just hope there's some sort of karaoke night or something else because music seems such a driving force. I hope you get to sing or, or at least participate a little bit with music with both of you. So thank you so much. It was such Thank a pleasure. You.